and I just want to make you walk you through Flutter basis of Flutter. So if you want, if you want to learn first Flutter, if you want to become a uh, core Flutter uh, uh, developer, then you need to watch other uh, I don't know, core tutorial on or uh, essential tutorial on Flutter. So it's just a basic uh, walk around tutorial, like to just give you the hang of ever some basics you need to, to you need to know about Flutter. So I've just uh, you know launched this uh, emulator Pixel Two API. So you can see it's already launched Pixel Two API. So you can just go to Views and Command Palettes and select Flutter device. You see all the uh, emulator all the devices connected to your file like chrome is also connected windows these are other emulators so i'm connected to these and so i'm seeing that i've already uh launched and uh, run it i've already run it i've uh i'm going to run and you know run start debugging or run without debugging anyone you can just pray so f5 you can see f5 so now that's why you're seeing is launching this file main on that which is default files when you the default uh, that file when you install flutter so I've, I've already added some this on what i'm doing and then um, it's launching it so all the layouts designed so far will be, will show on this screen so um i can pause it to save time so positive <laughs> all right so you can see that this has launched and uh, this is just a folder that uh, something i'm created if i click on this uh, create request is taking to other page and you can see that it's a second to other place or other right details so I was, uh, i'm gonna get rid of you know this is still under development so and, um now what i just want to let me quickly just create a new uh, uh file to just walk you around all this stuff so um so i can go back let me click on this so all right, so I will redirect this bot into the new file I'm trying, I'm trying to create. So here, I'll we'll create a new file. So I'll just say tests dot or that. So yeah, so here I'll just press. Uh, I can import the uh, default uh, Flutter package. So, click on this, and then that will. Uh, what I can you know is nothing not other than this package flutter material that does. So, that's what I'm doing. So, you can see you can just click on uh, control sh uh, space to give to suggest what to do to you. So, you let me say P to take it to package, and then so control space again. You see, you have uh, F. And you say flutter uh, dot material so let me look for what i'm looking for flutter material dot that this is what i'm looking for all right so now i'm gonna say i'm gonna import this uh uh you know in flutter we have two packages we have the stateless widgets which is just like a static widget you can do something like you know crowd option or something on it so we can do so while well, i would try to import stateful widgets which is like a dynamic uh, widget for you to do all the stuff, a widget for you to do or can implement all dynamic functionalities. So we just press ST so it brings to bring the option to so this stateful W means stateful widgets. So now you can give its name. So you say name state C name. So in here I will give I will give it test. Alright, so now it comes with default container. So uh, we have to use scaffold so just to be able to work on what, what i want to do so you can watch uh, a compressive video on all these i don't want to waste time on this so say scaffold and when you see this blue uh what's it called a line so you can hover on it to see what's going to basically it's, it's telling you to use to put const or a constructor right sometimes you may still need to remove it so you can put it up type constructor or just scroll down does even come with quick fix and you tell you that to put const so add const modifier and that's gone so now inside this scaffold if i feel like having an app bar like you know the app bar uh the top of the app 
so we can just say abba and it will, and i will now say uh abba so and uh just click uh, uh what's it called just type abba i will actually bring the abba what's it called for you so so then i can actually say um so i don't want to use this abba dot team because i'm gonna be using tai 2 and uh um sorry for that remove const so then like i said i need to remove const so with this abba so and then uh this i can say uh even i can just put uh, something like text instead of you know so just to give the abba a title so you can say text so uh, but you know what i'll put something like text here sorry so i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say something like type 2 sorry type 2 and then inside this type 2 and i can now say okay i want it i want to put text text i want to give type 2 a name so and then uh i can now say in text first give it uh give it a name inside quotes and i'm gonna say uh test page then uh, this is asking actually asking for const a construct geometry fire so i wanted to give the text color so i'll say uh style so then uh, i'll say and um, inside this style i'll say text style because we have a lot of styles so text style now i'll be able to give this color say color and here can i put the you know using this just like widgets on widgets like i'm having text widget inside abba i'm having text type widget inside text widget and this one inside abba widgets abja widget inside scaffold widgets that's how you know if that's a good thing about flutter i keep on using fleet widgets on widgets so these ones are shy children widgets for abba so it's, it's a shy widget for text so now inside this color tree i can still have uh this one now it's not it's, it's, it's just be like a widget i can have a color widget or let me just say i want to have it this way i want to say colors dots then i'll specify the name if i want like that's like i want it to be white since uh no, no the abba the abba yeah our colors dot white so the abba the text in the abba will be white and um uh, i will let me quickly i'll uh, put a constructor modifier to this one and uh on here i can say um from this main page so instead of directing to this other right i'm gonna direct to this text stage because this is the uh, you know class name you know it's a class you know actually in programming you give class name just like variable give variable name like a function give functions name so this class name here is a name that you need to use to tell the uh, you know like in the navigation uh, what's it called so to detect it get you directed uh, so that the language is understand. So here, I'm going to order right this a class name. So I'm gonna change it, and uh, it's telling me something that I need to import. It says say, the name test isn't a class. Quick fix that is import the library test dot that. So I need to import this file inside this page before it can recognize it. Now it's is gone. So if I save this now, and uh, instead of me getting directed to this to the content inside this file or to this file so i'm gonna get directed to the text to that page and you can see it's a blank page and the reason why it's blank is because i've not i've not given the app bar a color so but you can see by default it has this back arrow when i click it i'm going back to where i'm coming from if i click this one to just it's just like a navigator dot pop so to pop the page just like removing one page and uh, the last page so uh, this one is push that's so adding to the last page uh, it's just like the concept in uh, uh just like array concept in javascript and uh, you know uh, frota something so it's somewhat some, somehow related to javascript or uh, what's it called assembling so it's so um now this abba if i should give it color or something like black you can see you will see, actually see that it will be visible if i save it now we actually see the test page on it as this so um what i can do here is i also i can actually wrap all this with column or center so i can actually do something like um 
text so I can actually do something like let me wrap it with uh, format so I don't, I'm not formatting anything now I just want to uh, okay let me format it to so make it more you know regularly you know, nice so it's not allow it's not like uh, okay so um, because um, I can actually do something like that so I can say let me cut it off so now inside this app bar you know I can have something like container or something like uh, uh, something like sender center widgets or center tie to all this stuff so oh I'm inside app bar sorry for that so now uh, let me just return this just to uh, stick to what I'm doing here so now what I want to do first is I want to create a uh, okay so um, I, I, of course I need to have a body tight a body of the page and that's what I'm even getting confused about so now I'm returning to scaffold and this app bar so now it's on beyond uh, below this app bar I need to have a body uh, widgets and I'll say inside this body then I can now say something like container or center that thing I'm trying to do I was convincing it I was trying to go to app bar is just it should not be so it's going to come here and say center so that everything I'm trying to do will be centered so what's normally um I won't well let me just leave it like that so that I can quickly just walk you through something this simple so let's want to create you know in in design you always want to create a form so let me just take you through this one is actually asking me to put quite a const so if you just put add constructor for the fire sometimes you may, you may need to remove it so now let me just say a text feed in flutter we have two text we have text feed, form feed and we have text feed so some of them have some uh, properties which others don't have so now since i have this center i can say shite and inside this shite i want to call it um uh, I want to call it uh, text feed. I want to use text feed and then it's text feed here. Uh, I need to do something like I want to have um, I want to have the hints. Uh, I don't know to have the uh, what else come in text feed. I think we have uh, um, okay. Um, let me see. I have. Uh, uh, hint, hint, uh, text, hint, uh, label text, and hint text. So, what? Uh, uh, I think it could be another decoration. Yeah. So now you can say input decoration. Then inside input decoration, you can now have all this label something something. Okay. So and label. Uh, let me just say. Uh, uh hint uh what's it called in style or in text yeah so just in text is just like um, just like a placeholder yeah so in text then i can now say um i think this one should come in the in the quotes so let me look at six so i can now say uh input text or something like that and then I think let me save it and see what I'm designing here. Alright, you can see input text is like your int something. So when I click on it, it's gonna it's going to go it's going to go off just like a placeholder. So I have I also have one that we that we that will remain when I type 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 in and that is uh, label text. So you can see label text and that will be um uh so the same thing, input text. So, so in your own case, you can want to can want to build uh, something like your name, your address, your phone number, or something like that. All right. So and then, uh, what again? A lot of things like that can be here. So now I will quickly want to put a button. So we have uh, something like elevated elevated button, which is very very common. Oh, not here. I'm gonna come after this. Uh, 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 what do you call it? After this. Uh, widgets so i'm gonna put elevated elevation elevated button elevated button so and uh it's not even suggesting something something is wrong uh i need to look at what's wrong 
let me look over. I need to see what's wrong. He says the method isn't defined for the type tests. Okay, so I, I'm not creating a class for this. Uh, I will get this off. So I uh, actually understood what I'm saying. Uh, is the is not supposed to be. Or uh, so here I'm inside uh, center. Yeah, everything inside is scaffold. So um, what I will do here is let me take this or leave this on. Clean this up. So uh, just below the text suite, so I can see put some uh, padding. So I can say size box. Oh, what am I doing? I still put some padding. So let me put some. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Let me look at it. I think it's center. Okay. All right. So what I can do here now? Let me click on this to extract the you know convert multiple string or convert single quoted or just to extract method. But instead of that, I uh, will just want to do something like. Um, let me see. All right, so uh, uh, this one I can actually say how to use container. So it's something that you want to use. So now you want, this one is asking for a const. Uh, what's it called? No, no, no. Sorry for that. It's actually uh, trying trying to put unless you sort of container. Okay. Yeah, so that's because uh, they should this this already, uh, you know, the, the, the container is not really really needed here. So instead of using container, I can just say colon, and that I can just put my const. So you know, colon and rows. Just so if you want uh, widgets or you want item, you know, you want uh, input feeds or you want uh, things on on you know on the screens to come. Uh, vertically, like you want them to, to stack on each other, one on the top, the other at the, at the bottom, you use column so it, it sees them on a, a single column. But if you want them to come side by side, you can use row so that uh, it sees them as something that should be side by side. Then you can now say you can declare, declare column for each of them. So just like if I use column for this, uh, you see, I'm gonna show you something. Say I want you okay, can so if you use column and then after column you want to have something like uh, children. Well, now, let me put const here. So so now since it's column, so this child will not work. It's, it will only be children here. So and children we always want to be like is be like in a list. So we want we want to put something like list here. So and then you want to put something like you know close the list. Okay, you can see it's, uh, so. So what you do now is since it's uh, inside this list and then this button, this uh, what's it called? The button can now come here. So it's telling you that method. Okay, uh, I can see. No, 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 no. I think uh, let me see what's happening here. Okay, let me. Let me just take this off. So, um, so you can do something like this: is the uh, this is the column, and this is the children. This for this is the first one. So, so I, I can actually, since this is the first one, I can actually have another uh, another text feed. As I actually have another text feed, and uh, let's see. Of course, I can actually have that. Okay, so um, instead of this one, I can say input name, name, and uh, uh, what's it called? Phone number or address. So, okay, so now that's I'm having them like that. So. Uh, I can actually say something like if I come down from this and I put uh, sorry uh, I, I, I'm trying to let me remove this so I'm trying to put uh, what's it called button so 
now it's not seeing the button here because it's seen as it seems as something that's supposed not to come here because it's like if I if I over on it now and say elevator button you see like you see something like uh too, much, too many or too much positional argument so and that is because I'm putting them uh, in, uh I need to separate them with something like a break bracket or something like you know so what I will actually do is um they have this column inside this okay this is a column here so uh it's supposed to have this button here yeah so there's was it so now uh i can actually refactor this i think let me just click on it so, no not refactor i just uh what do you call it modify or something like uh, uh to, to arrange them properly uh, so now so on press on press is this I did, I will change it to a callback function and I can actually put something like key or something like uh, context or, con or something like that uh, uh, a variable inside it so now I'm not doing that so this is telling me to remove a const here that's a problem you can see it's gone so, uh, and this is the asking for it so you're gonna see how to solve that in a moment so what I would just say is that for now, so it has child and the child here can be like text. So now, because you know the button needs something like a text to, to show something on this on the uh, so, so now uh, we just say uh, submit for now and then um, I'm gonna give it um, styles. Uh, I think um, by default this. Uh, this is it's black, so let me not waste time on that. We've already seen how to. Well, okay, we have not worked on button, so let me do it. So, style, then I can now say uh, text style. I think just same with uh, input feed. And text style can I can say color can be colors of any color I want to give it, like um, blue. All right, so. Uh, all these ones are just asking me to put const so if I, if I hover on it it's asking me to put const so even this one so if you are removing const here you need to put const on everything otherwise just put the const here if we see it for every other uh, child uh, widget that does it so now what you can see that this is telling you to do something like remove const this what this one is telling you. It's telling you to remove the cons because the invalid cons and value. So we remove the cons. It will remove that one and replace cons throughout, and that's the solution for that. So if you save this now, you're gonna see that uh, all the feeds. Uh, yeah, you can see the first one, the second one, the button. So now uh, I can actually click on this to do something like submit this volume. I want to go to another page. Like I said, this one is popping it, going to the first page, and this one is still going back there. And uh, in fact, I will leave this page for the other page I want to do, but I will just remove all this stuff here. So let me quickly walk you through drawer and the other before. So, and then lastly, I'll walk you through something like uh, button navigation bar. So now, here you can see uh, uh, something like okay, here I want to see. Um, where are my columns? I want to leave the column, so I want to say drawer. So here, you can wait for it to launch all the context, or just press Ctrl Shift. So when you say drawer, so uh, you have uh, uh, what it. I think I forgot. You know, I've used this thing for. for okay, let me see this drawer uh, widget and. It, I can give it in something like let me just type drawer. So uh, I will stop at that just to see drawer. So here you can put your uh, what's it called your your uh, uh, yes convert it to no 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 add const modifier. So um, what I'm saying inside you can inside here you can put your. Uh, because it sees it's that you know that's one of the good things about flutter 
you can actually use you know you know if you're using react native you need a lot of css to click on to create this uh humble what do you call it the menu bar now you click it a drawer comes up and this uh okay there's no text there's no just a simple drawer so you can put all your links inside it and now you click outside of it it comes back so you can see one of the good things in flutter if you're using the active you have a lot of code to write for this all right so um what i want to do something i want to add to the draw i want to say um i think i can add text to it so that will be like a shade for it so and the shade will be text so and um, if you you know that your text you can just say uh see put see put the name of your uh website's text text page all right so and by default is black so you don't need to have any worries about that just click on your browser again and you see your name or was it oh Alright, so let me quickly see what's happening. So I think I should just add the styling, the style, and uh, which is style, and that is text style. And I can say color is the uh, colors dots. Uh, I think blue. Alright, so let me uh, save it again and see what's going on. Alright, so okay, it's showing. It's showing like it's just to you know is at the top edge of this or even here i think i can do something like let me see say font size to make that in you know bigger and i can say i think 30 uh let me save it just to see it first before moving it oh test page yeah so i can essentially say font, font weight so that it's it's a bit sick so we can say font weights and uh font rate it comes with uh, let me see I think uh, I don't even know like W 300 or something or let me just say 300 no I think there's an error here okay a value of int can be assigned to a parameter type font rate okay so that is we can't use int value we need to have something like a string value or something so, you know it's like uh, like for if we like it's like a what they call it a method that I need to include here so to see like font rate uh, font weight then that can be yeah, dot w 300 all right so and then now that, that we add to the weight of it okay oh even reduce it so which means this one can just be 900 all right so now um i think the next thing to do here is uh just want to uh, create a bottom navigation bar and uh just before the scaffold because everything will be in your scaffold so you cannot see bottom navigation bar so and uh, you want to say what a navigation bar so you want to do something like bottom navigation bottom up bar so you still need bottom navigation bar and these are items and items so what you do here is you know like items like you see uh oh what happened okay sorry so like is it the you know back uh, button or the home button or something like that